nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, guys It is time to get up and going if we want to make it home today, right? Yeah, I cleaned the windshield a little bit and uh, we're still at the rest area where we stopped at last night, so uh, let's get out of here and have ourselves a fantastic day. Yeah, I had to actually use the AC all night long. It was pretty warm out here. It's supposed to be a really, really nice weekend coming up this weekend, so yeah, I'm happy. It's going to be really nice when we go camping, right? Yeah, so let's get out of here and let's get on the road and see what kind of show we can put on today. So come along and join us on the journey and you'll get to see everything that happens. Alrighty guys, we have just entered South Dakota here a little while ago and uh, we got the scale open today as usual. They were closed last time already. They were actually working on the scale and as you guys probably remember. Let's see what they want today. Ah, oh, there we go. They just want us to stop in here and... I guess they just want to check us out. Yeah. Oh well. That's okay, I guess. At least they let us go. We don't have to stop. Oh, we have to stop at the stop sign, but other than that, we don't have to go around to the back and get inspected, you know what I mean? Yeah, even, uh, even on the other side there the other day, it was open. Yeah, we got like a pullover area up there. They were even in there yet the other day, but I guess they want to get the last few uh, weeks of inspections done before winter kicks in, right? Because winter is just around the corner. I think in another couple of weeks you will start seeing snow. That's what I think. Yep. Now we're making good time. We're making good time. Oh yeah. The sun has finally come up. I don't know what it is, but the last day, yesterday and today, it's just been crazy with bugs. I cleaned it pretty good there this morning, and it's right back to pretty bad already again, you know. I don't know where they come from, but I guess it's uh, been warmer the last uh, two days than, than it has been in the last couple of weeks, so I guess they're coming out again. I talked to my buddy earlier, he called me, and uh, he wants to bring the boat this weekend to go to the camp. He doesn't have it at the campsite anymore, but he's going to bring it this weekend and uh, we're going to do some fishing this weekend. At least we'll try anyways. I don't know if we'll get anything, but uh, we'll certainly do we'll try and do some fishing this weekend, that's for sure. Oh yeah! I like it. We won't be there till Monday, we'll be there till Sunday evening, but... Uh, that's okay too, we'll be there all day Saturday and Sunday. And we'll go back home. So, we'll be filming it. I know this last weekend I didn't really film anything, but didn't have anything interesting to film. So, this weekend I will have something interesting to film, right? At least for some people, not everybody's gonna like it obviously. But I think it's going to be fun. Yep. Oh, 
we should be home tonight. All right on schedule so far. It is time for us to make a pit stop. We haven't had a pit stop at all, all day long since we left this morning. And it is come to the time where we gotta take a pit stop. Now I see a penner truck in there. Yeah. We're coming into Watertown, South Dakota. I was there a couple of days ago. But, yeah, we've been driving probably for about four and a quarter hours, I think it is. Yeah. Well, it's time to have a little bit of a pit stop. Have my half an hour break. That's required of me to have. Yep. Look at this. We got a double trailer behind this tractor. Look at that. That must be hard to pull. I think so. Anyways, we'll go in there and uh, see what we'll be up to. Probably go walk around inside the truck stop a little bit. See what we can show you. Alrighty guys, we are in North Dakota. Welcome to North Dakota, the flatlands. <laughs> Pretty much nothing, uh, I guess, uh, for scenery, I guess. Pretty much flat, almost no trees at all. What you see is what you get up here in North Dakota. That's about it. But some beautiful colors are starting to pop up in those trees over there. Yeah. That means fall is in the air. Yeah, well. Looks pretty cloudy too. The wife said earlier it was raining up there in uh, Steinbach. I don't know it still is but earlier this morning it was when I talked to the wife so but it's been crazy windy here the last couple of hours but uh, it's okay we're putting the hammer down going home yep we're no, not going to let that stop us that easily I have to be super windy in order for us to stop yeah but we gotta get home tonight. Wanna have some good time this weekend? Yep. We're gonna go fishing. I'm excited. I'm excited. The last time this year probably that we're gonna be fishing. Unless we do some ice fishing, we might do that again this year. Or again, I've never done it. But uh, we're definitely planning on uh, renting a cottage uh, for Christmas and then uh, we're going to go uh, camp at the cottage by the lake somewhere. Hopefully it will be frozen again like it was last year and we were able to cruise along on the lake and have some fun with the snowmobile. Looking forward to that. My buddy, he's got a nice snowmobile lots of power that's a lot of fun cruise uh, you know cruising in the bush and whatever cruising on the lake putting the hammer down on that thing holy smokes that's got lots of juice you're taking off like a bullet <laughs> you gotta hold on to your pajamas yep anyways Let's continue on with our journey and see where we will be tonight. I'm hoping we'll be home. I'm really hoping we'll be home. Well guys, the good news is we made it into Manitoba. Continue on this road for and the other good kilometers. news is that scale is closed today. <laughs> I won't have to waste any time over here at the scale. And I lie. Only an hour and 15 minutes to the yard. It's 14 minutes after 5 o'clock right now. So at 6.30 we should be rolling into the yard. Yeah, I like it, I like it. I am in my home province of Manitoba. I'm happy, 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 happy. 
the weather looks kind of crappy. Yeah. Not supposed to be too great tomorrow either, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so happy I can go home for the weekend again, and that's the third weekend in a row. Can you believe that? That's not a real truck driver, some people would say. But hey, guess what? I've been on the road long enough, enough weekends, that I think I deserve three weekends in a row off. What do you think? You think I deserve it? I think I do. Anyways, enough of that. We got, like I said, an hour and 15, and we will be in standby, dropping this trailer, finish our paperwork, and I'll be going home. And I'll have me a super, 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 super long weekend. I won't be back till drive. I won't be back driving till next week, Wednesday. And let's see, today is Thursday. That's a few days. Kind of like a mini vacation. Yeah. Yeah, and the reasoning being is Monday is a holiday. And, uh,. On the 15th, my dangerous goods uh, expires, my dangerous goods card, license, or whatever you want to call it. So I got to renew it on the 13th, is when I have an appointment. And so I can't really go out until then. And that takes about six hours of a course, or five hours for sure. So, uh, and plus it's voting time in Canada. I'm going to be voting. Voting for our new Prime Minister. Yeah. Whoever wins, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to be the person voting for the one that wins, but I'm going to be voting for somebody. Yeah. If I will be, I will be. And I'll probably do early voting, but uh, that's okay. I call my vote will still count. Because... Uh, if I leave on the 13th, it's possible that I won't be back till the 19th, and the 19th is the official day of voting. So I want to get my vote in, so that way I can't later on say, I didn't vote, so I have no right to complain about anything, right? <laughs> Anyways, that's the whole spiel, so that's what's going to be going on. I'm going to be going camping, and then Monday, I don't know if we'll do Monday yet, but... Uh, Tuesday, that's what I'm going to be busy with, voting, uh, maybe I'll go voting tomorrow, I don't know for sure yet, but uh, I'll be doing something, and then uh, Monday, don't know yet, Tuesday we'll be doing that stuff, Wednesday hopefully we get a load back on the road, probably won't be a long trip because on the Wednesday it's usually shorter trips, but that's the way it goes in trucking. Anyways, let's go home. Alrighty guys, we are at home. We are at home. Yeah, I'm liking it very, very, very much. And tomorrow we'll get ready to go camping. Tomorrow is going to be an extremely busy day, but hey, that's alright. Uh, we are home. Anyways, uh, just figured I'd finish off my closure for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And if you did, be sure to rate it up. Share the video. And if you're new to our channel, we'd love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button right there in the corner. Yeah, we would appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's about all we got. Be sure to stick around tomorrow because tomorrow's gonna be an interesting day so we'll see you then it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come